Good morning, good morning. Okay, let's watch this video first. Pay attention. And then you are going to make comments about this video, even in, you can try it in English or in Spanish. Okay. Vamos, hazlo. Rápido, nadie te está viendo. Tienes que, si quieres estar con nosotros. El otro. También. Hay que hacerlo bien. Hay que hacerlo bien. Muy bien. La honestidad. Pásala. Un mensaje de la Fundación para una vida mejor. Comments, class. Comments about this video. What was this video no. about? No. No comments. No. Very. Did you understand very, the video? Very, 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 very short. It's a short video. No, no, yeah. I don't understand. You don't understand. I don't understand. It was more. You want to see it one more time? Watch it one more time. Yeah. Okay, one more time. We're going to watch one more time. Pay attention. Pay attention to I what am... they are saying. Doing. Yeah, Miss, how can I say? I can't entrar. Okay, you are late. Okay, one more time. Everybody pay attention. Vamos, hazlo. Rápido, nadie te está viendo. Tienes que, si quieres estar con nosotros. El otro también. Hay que hacerlo bien. Hay que hacerlo bien. Muy bien. La honestidad, pásala. I understand. Un mensaje de la fundación see. para una vida mejor. Okay, okay. Let's, see. let's see. Gabriela first. You were the first one to raise your hand. Now, I think that you understand the video. You watch the Okay, I think, I don't, I don't, I don't know sure, but I think that the boy robó unos discos mm -hmm. de música. That's right. Yes. And so the and other the girl, group, the girl in the boy, what's that? The friends, oh, nice. eh, le pidieron si quería, si quería estar con ellos, que volviera los, lo, lo, la música que le había robado. Mm -hmm, that's right. Excellent. Rebecca, tell me. Um, also, Barbara said uh, the boy uh, robó some, uh, yes. And, uh, and, um, how can I say devolvió? Okay, first, robar in English we say is steal, but if it wasn't passed, it's stole. So he stole some CDs, DVDs from the store. And now he put it back to the store, the CDs, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they are honest. The honesty, to be honest, that's right. If something that is not yours, you're not going to take it. Look at here, in this part, he was giving back to the uh, that store here, all the CDs. Look there, it was on the pants. So it's the main the, the value. This is the value for this month to be honest, class. So try to be honest all the time. You're not going to take candies or chocolates from the supermarket, right? If if you're not going to pay for it, you need to pay for it, but not take it. Okay. Or uh, when you be honest when you are uh doing your tests, also be honest if you don't know the answer. Do not she do not take a claims for the 
the answer in the notebook or in the book, right? Okay, perfect. Now let's review science, but science. Here we have the topic. We're not going to copy, remember, but you can have your book and notebook to see the annotations that you that you have there. Okay, let's let's finish with the review of science. The two topics that it says: how does forces affect motion and how does energy affect motion? These two topics we're going to review. So first, let's remember that when we talk about forces, we need to know the meaning of force. What is a force? A force is a push or a pull in an object that it can cause a change to motion. So look here, it's pushing or pulling an object. So the object is going to start moving. If you are pushing something, a box is going to move. If you are pulling a box, it's going to move. So even though it's pushing or pulling, it's going to move. So that is motion. Forces can cause objects to start moving, speed it up, slow down, stop, or change direction. Like this, like this boy that is using the ball. It's with this force that he is applying to the ball, the ball is moving. Maybe the ball can change direction the car also, it, you can stop the car or you can speed it up to continue moving, moving the car. So he, this is an example of force. So remember to study what is force. Any movement, any pu pushing or pulling and an object that is going to cause a motion and movement. So that is force. Now, we have to review also what is work and what is energy. Remember the energy is everything that you apply and the energy also, it refers to the energy that we that you need, any things that you need. For example, we can get the energy by eating, by eating our body receive energy, but the objects, they don't receive uh, energy by eating because the objects they don't eat. So they receive the energy that we apply to them. Okay, so let's watch this video. Let's watch this video to check I the this video. You watch this video? Yes. Yes. Okay, you're going to re-watch the video. Now let me put it here in the video and pay attention for this class. Force, work, and energy. Today we'll learn about force, work, and energy. If you more science videos, subscribe to us and stay tuned. Okay, perfect. Now, what things do you remember about this video class? What do you mention this video? Comments. Yeah, that. Gabriela? First, Rebecca. Rebecca, okay, Rebecca, tell me. Thank you. Um, in the video, say a pull and push are some examples of pull and push. For example, um, draw a car, uh, mm -hmm. push a car, and pull it, um, and a seat also. But, That's right. But are some things are so big and the boy uh, can, can, uh, can put it back we got uh, we going to uh, um, how can I say Kansas? It's going to be tired because it um, might be a, a heavy object. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we're going to have eat and sleep. Yes. The energy. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. You mentioned something important. Force is a pushing or pulling. That's right. That the boy was pushing and pulling a different objects. And when they are, it's easier for you when they, you see that you have a lot of energy and you know that it's not a heavy object. When it's heavier, the object, so you need to apply more work. So it means that you are going to apply more energy for moving that object. Excellent. So, and also it mentioned something important here on the video that is what is gravity. Remember the gravity, here we have it. It's the attraction of the earth. We're going to review that in a couple of minutes. This information, uh, let's see Gabriela. Yes, Gabriela, tell me. Yeah, 
the earth took an attractive gravity. We throw a ball to the to the sky and, and it has gravity. That's right. If you throw a ball, so it's going to be down to the earth because it's it's a gravity that is going to attract the objects back to the earth, to the ground. Excellent. Now let's continue here with the presentation. Thank you. We have the information of what is gravity class. Here we have it. It's a force. Remember that force is any pushing or pulling. A force that pulls two objects toward one another because of their mass. So we have the object here. Look at here in the picture. There is a gravity of the apple tree. The apple eats on the tree, but then it's going to be down and going to, who is there here? It's a boy. So then it's to the ground. Why? Because there is a gravity. There is a force that is applied here to the mass. So in this case, to the apple. So that is gravity. Now we have another definition to review that it's inertia. Inertia, it's the tendency of a moving object to stay in motion or a resting object to stay at rest. So inertia means that it can be moving or resting the object. That is inertia. It can be moving or resting. That's the tendency of being moving or resting. That is inertia. And friction, like this, friction, it's a force that is loves the motion of moving objects. Friction. You can uh, create friction. I remember one of the science videos, I think it was Rebecca, it was, she was using a balloon and was making a friction in the hair. So that is an example also of friction, that force that is loves the motion of moving objects, when you're moving the object. Yes? You're going to write. No, you don't have to copy this. You already have it. Okay, here we have another uh, video, but we're going to watch the video later. Let's review first this and then watch the video. We have types of energy. Remember that in the previous video also it was mentioned the energy. The energy is what makes matter move or change the object. So you can move or you can stop moving the object because of the amount of energy that you might have. The energy, it was mentioned that you can have kinetic, it can have kinetic energy or potential energy. What is kinetic energy cross? Kinetic energy is the energy of motion motion with something it's moving the energy that comes from the movement like this mechanical energy the energy to the motion of an object like this boy that it's using a, a bicycle can be using a car so that is that the mo motion of an object what is the electrical energy the energy from flow of electric charge so the electric energy is that you get to have your television, your computer, or any device on. So that is the electrical energy. We have potential energy that it's it's a potential energy. It stores the energy. Here, there is not a movement. In kinetic, <clears throat> in kinetic energy, there is a movement. Energy of motion, that's why. But potential energy, it's stored the energy. The object is not moving. The object is not moving, but it has energy even though it's not moving so the energy that it's a stuff is the store for later use later it's going to be used that end now another one is the chemical energy is the energy stored in bounds of atoms and molecules so it can be in a battery or in the food chemical energy now let, let's watch the video we're going to watch now the video just don't forget that kinetic energy is the energy of motion and potential energy is the energy that it's a store the object it's the movement all the objects they have potential energy and then they become kinetic energy now let me display the other video so we can watch it and the force of energy In science, in this video, I'd like to talk about different forms of energy. Up first is mechanical energy. Science video. Okay. <clears throat> Remember that this video was just as a review of the different types of energy that they, they apply. They apply. But what you need to make emphasis when you are studying for the exam is this definition that you have in the presentation, types of energy. On the video, there were more uh, types of energy mentioned, nuclear energy, solar energy. 
it's important for us to know, but uh, for, for the accent, it's not important that in video. This presentation, yes, it's important because I can ask you the meaning of kinetic energy, what is mechanical energy, potential energy. So that's information, the information that you have in your notebook and information that you have in your book. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the next slide now. We're going to review. This is so important because you need to know the definitions of this uh, potential energy, force, energy, what is friction, kinetic energy, and gravity. So let's review this. What is the word that matching the first one? A force that pulls any two objects toward one another, such as, such as you, toward the center of gear. What is this? What of which of these words from the World Bank match here, according to the meaning? Energy. Energy. Thank Those. you, Marcelo. Force. Force. Rebecca says force, energy. Potential energy. Potential energy. Who else? Who else wants to share the answer? Energy. For energy. Me. Let's see here the answer and... It's gravery. Remember the gravery is the force that pulls two objects. And we see the example uh, of the tree that it has an apple tree and the apple tree, it's one of the objects that is going to be toward one another. So it's going to be toward the, the ground. So that is gravery. Now, number two is the energy of motion. Attention energy. Kinetic energy, potential energy is the contrary. Here we have motion. Kinetic energy is when the energy to a, the ability to do work. The ability energy. to do work, it's energy. That's right. That is energy, Marcelo. Excellent. Number four. Force. It's a push or pull an object. Force. 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 That's right. It can cause direction. Is the energy that an object has a position. potential energy? That's right. That potential energy is when it's not in the in the next kinetic energy. Okay, don't yeah. get confused. Kinetic energy is when it's moving. When you see a car moving, when you see a ball moving, it's kinetic energy. But when it's potential energy is because you have the ball, maybe in your hands, you have the ball in your hands. So it has an object, you have the object with potential energy, the energy, it's a store. But what happens if you throw the ball with your hands? That is going to become kinetic energy because now you're moving, you're mo the, the, uh, the ball is moving, yes? Friction, a force that slows down the motion of moving objects. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Questions about this class? Are you ready for the exam? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. But you have enough time. Remember, if you have questions, you might ask me to study from the books, these definitions from your notebook. And so if you don't have any questions, let's stop here the review class. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.